Hey, yo, it's your girl. No, for real though. Hey, yo, it's your girl, Fair Fairs, and I'm coming at you with another video with some locks. You see me, cunty? I think they're like three weeks old at this point. Uh, uh. Mm. Give you face, honey. Yes. I recorded this makeup look on my live. So obviously it's going to be gone by the time y'all see this. But it's basic. It ain't nothing serious. Like, I don't think it's nothing serious. But anyway, I'm coming at you with another video. This video is going to be about... As you can see in the title, it's going to be about life after Mac. Yes. What happens when you make the adult decision and leave your, what you think is going to be your forever, and you just be like, you know what, I'm done. Okay. I had enough. Enough is enough. I'm over the Mac life. I don't want it no more. After all I've done, been through with this company, I done been through hell and back. I done dropped it like it's hot for this company. Like, I done gave it my blood, sweat, and tears. Like, sleepless nights. Like, I'm talking like, you You know how it is. Like, if you worked at Mac before, you know. You know. By the time your shift is over, first of all, your eyebrows be gone because you just be so irked with people and they hot breath. Your fucking edges be not laid because you just be sweating because you just be running back and forth between the back room the floor and everything and your feet be on bark so you are I, you know just stay tuned for the video okay stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell it's free just do it because like why not it's free just do it just subscribe just down there I think I'm right this time. Hope I am. But just stay tuned and watch the video, y'all. So, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, um, you know that I've been through hell and back with Max. So I started with the company in 2015. I got hired as a freelancer at a Mac counter. I've worked between the store and counters. So I was a freelancer probably for about a year, a year, and um, I interviewed for a permanent position. I'm going to put this on silent. I interviewed for a permanent position. Um, the permanent position was a 15-hour position. At the time, I was fresh out of college, and um, I was also applying to corporate jobs. So I got a corporate offer at Vanguard. It was a little less money than what I was making at Mac, um, but it was like I was going to get more hours at the corporate job, so I was like, you know, I'm going to just do the corporate job because whatever, whatever. So I was going to do the Mac job as well, like permanently, like just on weekends, 15 hours on the weekend, and then just work my 40 hour or 37.5 hours during the week. Sat down with my manager, spoke with her. She was like, you know, I don't think that's a good idea because you're probably going to be tired and want a day off. And I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, sis is right. So I just stayed as a freelancer for a couple of other years. So I became permanent officially again on, um, in 2017, October of 2017, I became permanent again or... I got hired as permanent again. Um, so I love, I always loved working at Mac. That was my starting point. This is why my face is looking beat as hell right now. Um, I did make up before I started at Mac, but once I did, once I worked at Mac, I learned so much more. Um, definitely recommend there working. Definitely, I definitely recommend to work there um, as an aspiring new makeup artist because you just learn so much. Um, but anyway, so I worked there up until May of 2018, and that's when I decided, well, beginning May, or I think starting in, like, prom season, or right before prom season, I was just super annoyed with the position. At the time, I was in cosmetology school. I had a lot going on in my personal relationship. Um, I was in cosmetology school part-time. 
and Mac was my only job at the time. So, um, it was a lot going on with home, my personal relationship, and at work. Like, Mac to me used to be that place I go to and I escape from the real world. Um, yes, it was my job, but I had a true passion for the industry. I still have a passion for makeup in general and the industry, but not working at Mac or working for Mac. Um, I did at the time. And when I started to lose that interest was when I was just being overworked. It was like I was working so much. It was going nowhere. I wasn't like it took me so long just to get to what I had like a 20 hour position by the time the second time around. Um, and it was like, that's the only, I couldn't get any more hours. So it was frustrating that that was it and that was all. Like, no benefits because I was technically part-time. It was just really annoying. So that was not the only annoying thing. Like, the customers, honestly, is what is the only thing that kept me sane. Like, management at the time was just, I don't even want to go into that. Like, it was just a lot. So the day that I decided to leave my job, I, first of all, I've never been late i'd never called out i never all three years that i was at the company i was actually really good um i did everything by the books or that i how i was told to do anyway so the day i decided to leave mac was um it was a situation the store manager to macy's oh yeah and i was permanent at a macy's Store manager at Macy's got, like, in my face. He was a male. Um, and it was just, like, I had stuff going on at home. I, it was just, like, it was. It just wasn't a great time for me. So the fact that he just got in my face and was just, like, talking to me or kind of sort of yelling at me in a way about Lord knows what. I don't even really want to get into detail about it, but... It was just ridiculous how it's just honestly ridiculous how females get treated period by men but once he did that that kind of triggered a whole bunch of other things of why i was unhappy being there like i said i was overworked i was under recognized i it was like no growth at that point um i just i got my um basic one and two certification so at this point, I was just like, I don't think there's anything left here for me. I mean, I think I've done everything I could and it's that's it. That was like my icing on the cake. Once he got in my face, I was like, you know what? I can't. So the next, so I think this happened on a Monday or something like that. So I had off Tuesday and Wednesday. I came back Thursday and was like, Friday's going to be my last day. And that's what I did. That Friday was my last day and I was done at that point and at the time like I said I had my own personal issues going on with my um relationship and stuff like that so um I had to figure it out as you all know I do makeup I do hair I do a whole bunch of things so at this point I have a whole bunch of bills to pay for I'm just it's just me myself and I and I'm trying to figure out how the hell am I gonna make it like I'm in cosmetology school. Like, it was, like, the lowest point of my effing life. And I never, ever, ever, ever want to get back to that point again. But to make a long story short, basically what I did was I used my resources. I do makeup. I do hair. I was hustling. Like, I became, at that point, a full-time entrepreneur for, like, what, two to three months? I supported myself. Um, my mom did help me out a little bit. My sister helped me out a little bit. My friends did offer to help me out, but I don't personally like taking help from friends or asking friends for help or even telling them when I have problems. Um, but they they know me, so they know that I was going through things and I really am blessed that I had them at the time because they got me through so much in 2018. So did my family, so did God, so definitely want to give praise to the most high um but anyway I basically was in the streets hustling like doing hair doing makeup and like I was just I was making money but I knew that because of everything that I had going on and was going through I needed something a little bit more stable so um 
I don't know if you're, you guys are aware, but I think I mentioned this already, but I do have my degree in business administration. I have an extensive background in customer service. Um, so I applied to a customer service job at um, Wawa. One of my really good friends worked there, Portia. You've seen her in my vlogs before. Um, so I worked there for a while, probably about six months, and I also was applying to another job, which is my current job, um, as a service coordinator. And... Um, I was, like I said, I was at Wawa for a couple months. I worked my behind off. Like, I picked up so much overtime just to, you know, get back on my feet and just, you know, just get caught up with things. And one of the best decisions that I made was leaving Mac. And I'm sorry if this video is all over the place because I'm literally speaking from the dome. So, I paused the camera for a bit and I kind of lost my train of thought. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, life after Mac, um, I'm super happy I left that company. I'm so, 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 so happy. One, I am not stressed out anymore. Freaking saying hi, hello, how are you doesn't piss me off. Like, customers used to just talk to me in the morning. I'd be like, why is anyone even talking this early in the morning? Mind you, it'd be like 11 o'clock. Like, why was I so pissed at the world? First of all, when you become permanent at Mac, I don't know if it was just me or if this is like a cultural thing but you just become a real bitch like because it's just like you just get tired of the bullshit like the stupid questions like no question is stupid but sometimes people would just ask things like really like are you really gonna ask that question like I can't even think about one of the craziest questions that people asked me before but anyway like I just got so annoyed with it just you you know what I'm talking about if you've worked there it's, trust me it's it's rewarding but it's very annoying at the same time so anyway life after I'm so glad I made the decision to leave um whether you have a degree or not if you feel it in your heart that you should leave you should leave because the sky's the limit of what you can do. Um, it's been a year since I've left the company. I am now working at a service coordination agency. I'm a case manager. Um, so basically what I do is manage people services that they receive, whether it's having a CNA in their home or like a home health aid, or if they get meals delivered to their house, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I do. But the great thing about it is I actually love what I do because I get to work directly with people I make sure that, you know, they get everything that they require and they want. Um, and I have a lot of autonomy. Like, it's no hovering and stuff like that. When I was working at Mac, I don't know if it's because I was at that location. And I'm not going to disclose any of the information of what location I was at. I mean, in this video, it might be in my previous videos if you want to, like, go seek and find out. If you know me personally and if you've seen me before, then you know what location I was at. But it's not to bash the location or anything. It might have completely changed now. But at the time, it was a lot of micromanaging and I cannot stand being micromanaged. So like I said, right now, it's a lot of autonomy, um, which I love. Um, I work 10 to 4.30 when I'm in the office and when I'm out in the field, which is what we call the field when we're visiting, when we're visiting our um, clients. Um... I could be done as early as like 2 30 3 o'clock depending on how early I start but the latest I'm ever at work is like 4 30 unless I have a lot of paperwork to do or something like that which is I met I've been at the company now for six months so I pretty much have a good handle on things so I'm not there too long um but the great thing that I like about not being at that job so long like like 8 30 to 6 p.m or something like that because I've had corporate jobs like that as well is that I get to do me after I'm done work like now I work out like I've been working out since January like the end of January um I have my own place now um what else am I doing like what's new I work with um like, I do a whole bunch of stuff outside of just makeup now. Like, I work with um, a barber, and I'm, like, his assistant. Like, I just kind of give him insight on social media and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to go too much into detail of what we do. Um, 
but he'll be on my channel too so uh I just do so much outside of just Mac now like I have so much more time to just dedicate to my own personal brand, which is Fear Fierce, like my YouTube channel. It's just like, you can tell like I'm so much more happier because I'm like posting more than I was last year. Like it just was so much going on last year. And for me to go to my workplace and it not be that comforting and like stress free place that originally hired me was just it just took a toll on me and I was just like you know what I gotta go so like I've accomplished so much after making the decision to leave the company granted I left the company not in the best ways like I just was like you know what I'm done but hey shit happens look at where I am now like I'm not gonna say I'm like the most popping person right now because I'm not but I'm happy and you cannot beat happiness. Like if you're truly stressed out about something, get rid of it. I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if it's a man. I don't care if it's a family member. Not that you can get rid of a family member, but distance yourself from them. A friend stressing you out, distance yourself. Because who, life is too short to live in fear and live in stress. Like, you got to do what's best for you, sis, at the end of the day. So, long story short, to sum it all up, if you want to leave MAC Cosmetics, sis, do that shit. Because it's the best decision I've ever made. Like... Do it. And that's the bottom line. Wrap it up. I don't think there's anything else there is to cover about it um i basically gave you a long story short without giving you too much if you have any further questions let me know leave your questions down below for me um if you have any video requests any certain type of video you would like to see whether it's makeup or a vlog or maybe my fitness journey um let me know i'm more than willing to Put it out there so let me know um and if you're not already follow me on all my social media handles everything will be listed down below um and uh yeah thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys comment and i'm not gonna hope you guys subscribe because you should have subscribed in the beginning like let's be honest like, I always got to get so serious with y'all with the subscribing situation. Just do it already. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with my emotions. Just subscribe. Now.